What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. And yes, we have to talk about Colorado State head coach Jay Norvell calling out Coach Prime and the Buffaloes ahead of this weekend's rivalry matchup. Now, I've listened to a lot of reactions and I've heard people's takes on this. And, and I think initially, like a lot of people, I thought the same thing. My man is poking the bear. Why would you do that? But as I began to see responses and I began to see how this shook up the media, I started to think, wait a minute, is my man Jay Norvell playing 3D chess? Is he exposing what's happening in this Colorado um, hype driven, we all like are drinking the Kool-Aid landscape? Is he exposing them and is he setting a trap for the Buffaloes? Let's get into it. Triple B's! AB the hero. Back at it, baby. Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to set the table for you because I'm sure you, you have been following along. But just in case you haven't, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the clips so you, you're, you're aware of this. Because when I give you my take on it and I start spinning that web, I just want you to hear where I'm coming from. So the other day, um, yesterday it was, this is the clip that started the firestorm, okay? You have Colorado coach, Colorado State head coach Jay Norvell on his um, team podcast and listen to what he says. And I sat down with the ESPN today and I don't care if they hear it in Boulder. I told them I took my hat off and I took my glasses off and I said, when I talk to grownups, I take my hat and my glasses off. That's what my mother taught. Me. <laughs> so, you know, they're not going to like us no matter what we say or do. It doesn't matter. OK, so let's go up there and play. Now, all right, for me, I thought this was interesting for one, because after I saw Coach Prime a couple times ago in the press conference with the shades on and the glasses on, I was like, damn, that's a very unique aesthetic, bro. I kind of like it. So if you go back to my last video that I did on this channel, I was wearing the shades and the glasses. So I understand why that stood out to him from point one because it stood out to me right just watching the the aesthetics and that is also a the indicator of why i think my man is playing 3d chess because he was looking at it from an angle that i also was looking at it from point one all right now here's where it starts for me that was the a thing last night that came out right and that is all over the media right everybody's talking about it first take um uh, undisputed every youtube channel who covers colorado everybody is running with that clip let's 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 discuss let's discuss i can't believe he did it. he poked a bear he poked a bear now here's the first point of where i say there's a bit of exposing of the the panties um and in, in this right here because earlier this week when coach norvell spoke on prime time in them he had this to say on sanders has had a lot of public critics i'm not one of them um i really respect all head coaches and the sacrifices that they've had to make to become head coaches and especially african-american coaches and so i was happy to see dion get his opportunity um you know i had to wait a long time to get mine now, my man said that, and I bet you never heard that clip. All positivity. Coach Prime has a lot of critics. I'm not one of them. I had a, a long road to get this opportunity. He got his opportunity, and I understand how hard it is for African-American coaches to get said opportunity, right? that is not the sound bite that made all of the headlines love admiration coach prime i like what you're doing i see you right coach prime responded to jay norvell and here's what he had to say 
what I hear, I haven't met this gentleman, but I hear he's a good good man. I know he's a great coach. Um, he has those guys playing hard. Um, I, I like that. I like that. I'm glad he said that. I, I like that. I like it. I'm glad he said that. On a good note, we off to a good start this early in the week. Compliment, compliment. Right? You it, With the hype train the way it is, this should be everywhere. A battle amongst gentlemen. It's going down in Colorado on primetime TV. Um, two coaches with a lot of respect for each other in the same state. How, how can they eat collaboration? Uh, where's the narrative on that? You didn't get it. That wasn't enough of a soundbite. So when my man Jay Norvell, and I say my man because all oh, y'all my man, man. You know what I'm saying? We cool. When he say what he say and start to spice things up. Now, all of a sudden, folks, panties is in a bunch. And that's where I think some of the expose of the media starts to happen, right? But where I think the 3D chess is, is I see this as an opportunity for Colorado State to take control of this situation, right? So if you really think about it, going into this matchup, everybody was going to praise and talk highly on Colorado anyway. Coach Prime, what you did last week, what you did the week before, avid fans, me, myself included. But how do you create a situation where you interject Colorado State in that situation? You got to throw some shade. All right. Now, if he was a grown man and he was throwing shade at the kids, that would be one thing. Come on, bro. Don't talk about the kids. But the other coaches, it's kind of fair game. But when I say taking back control, what I mean is now you effectively have created this scenario at the CU practice. Let's go out here, work our butts off, and do our job on Saturday. Yes, but when they give us ammunition, they done messed around and made it what? Earth. It was just going to be a good game. It was going to be a great test, a battle of Colorado, but they done messed around and made it personal. They made it. Now, to me, obviously, last week um, versus Nebraska, that was a rally cry. Yeah, making it it's personal. It's personal. It's personal. It wasn't supposed to be personal with with Colorado State. This was just supposed to be a, a good game amongst gentlemen. Everybody's gonna work hard and get it done. But if you're Jay Norvell, what you have officially have done is you have changed the dynamics happening in Colorado midway through the week. Everybody was getting set up to just have a hard hat week. And now it's personal, right? What I'm saying is you're tapping into the emotional roller coasters that happen oftentimes in college football. Now, some guys can handle it and some guys can't. I bring this up to you here. Last week before the Colorado game, a game in which most people would say that this CU team had a bit of a slow start, um, this happened before the game. This is That's Colorado star quarterback Shador Sanders protecting the house. The Nebraska team and the coach, they all lined up on the Buffalo. They talking trash. They stomping on it. The coach saying reckless things about Coach Prime. And if you watch the game like I did, you notice that Colorado got off to a pretty slow start. Early on, one of the biggest plays in that first drive was the offensive lineman running over there and getting a 15-yard penalty protecting 
your star quarterback, Shadur Sanders. A lot of those penalties that this Colorado team got early on in that game is what made it a close game in the first half. Moving the ball, having to go 15 yards back, every bit of momentum being sucked out. And truthfully, it was because it was personal. That was a point in the game where my man Shador had this immaculate run. He hit him, him doing all of the things, throws a beautiful play, pops his helmet off. Coach Prime said, bro, you can't do that. He said, it's personal. Now, incomplete on the two-yard, um, two, the, the two-point conversion after review, but the penalty is still assessed, so you change the landscape on the kickoff. I'm just saying, these small things in football, football is a game of what we call a game of inches, they matter. So if you are Colorado State, and if you start to look at the rousters and the depth charts and you go, man, and man, you got a bit of a disadvantage. How do you create a bit of an advantage? You make it personal. You inject emotion into the matchup. It's no longer a hard hat game. We need to do what we do strategically the same way, similar to a TCU game. TCU game was was was, was personal, but it was more we're going to show the world more so than we're going to really dominate and show TCU. Nebraska was we want y'all. It's personal. Everybody talked about before that game is you got to let the players know how hard this rivalry was. And you seen them go into that game. I point this out to you versus TCU. I was a blown away that this Colorado team where the biggest criticism for them was going to be like, how can y'all jail with all those new players? They didn't have their first penalty until almost the end of the second quarter. That's unheard of from what people would consider a young team. It's easy to get penalties, jump off sides, do silly things. And this last game, when it was personal, we saw them rack up silly penalties that helped that Nebraska team stay in that game. Now, when I say, all right, you're Coach Norvell, and now you you moving the, the thing. You you have created a new mindset in this Colorado team. Now you have to look and how does that show up different in actions? And then you go to here and you see that before the practice, everybody in their mama getting shades. Everybody getting sunglasses now. And this is cool because this is reactionary. You making light of the situation. Um, you trolling a bit. But once again, this is something that you were not prepared to do. You weren't planning on passing out sunglasses to the whole team. You wasn't planning on this narrative. You already had your stuff. We hard hadn't. We going to get things going. So if I'm Coach Norvell, I see this. and I'm like, ooh, we in their head. We in their head, we fast forward over here, and you see Coach Prime on first take, which is in Boulder, Colorado today. Crazy thing that the game don't start tomorrow till 10 p.m. Eastern time, which is wild. But they got um, a big noon kickoff and ESPN Saturday show. I can't think of the name at the moment. All in Boulder tomorrow for Colorado State versus Colorado if you had have bought tickets to this game last year before the season started and you went to resell them you literally would you would be getting returns like Bitcoin Dogecoin type returns in the boom if you bought season tickets last year and saying yo I'm gonna flip them because Colorado you people would have told you you was stupid I heard today that Colorado has the most expensive tickets in a in the country right now. It costs you five hundred dollars to go to a game. All I'm saying is this: Do I think Colorado is going to lose to Colorado State? Not a chance. 
not a chance in H E double hockey sticks. Won't happen, can't happen. I, I would be flabbergasted. I'd be my brain would melt if Colorado State came out with a win. However, what I want to say is a lot of people are on Jay Norvell's head, and I don't think it's deserved. I think that he's creating a situation in which he has found a way to motivate his players, right? When you look at Coach Prime, he does these things in such a unique way. In, in ways that I have never seen, I truly have never seen a coach come to the podium with the hat on the hood and the glasses and address the thing. I've never seen players at the beginning of the season not even really have the not speak on like our goal is to win national championship. Our goal is to win the Pac-12, but to say I'm winning the Heisman. That's new. That would be frowned upon. You would never get Reggie Bush back in the day and in, in, in game one is never like, you know, our goal is I'm, I'm trying to win the Heisman this year. It would never happen. Every time the media would change that to I'm, I'm, I'm trying to win the national championship team first, team success, team this, team that, team that. And if you did say something like that and make it a personal thing the media would be on your head coach prime has changed that so it blows my mind when i see things like this extremely childish right because what jay norvell thought was that that was cute he thought he said it in the morning or he said it at another time now let me bring it up bring it up again in front of my home media in front of the people who know me best and all of those folks of the media start clapping why are you clapping because they his people they know him best it's home he taking shots. He getting them. Why are y'all acting like you don't get it? That kill me. My man here is on the screen hurt. Why you? You thought it was cute. Why would you say that about Prime? And I, I'm, I'm a. I promise to you. I'm a Prime head. Pause. The shuffle. That's me. You. You could. You. I promised to God all day, every day. I practiced it. I'm a prime head, but come on, where the competition? Here's one of the big things that happen in boxing. Sometimes you can be a really talented boxer and no, nobody want to fight you. Why? Because you don't sell the fight. We at the press conference and I'm talking trash and all oh, you, I'm going to got my hard hat. And I'm just ready to get in there and box. No, say something about my mama, man. We selling tickets. Jay Norvell selling tickets. People hype right now. Ryan Clark pissed. That's not, that's not something you want a leader of men to do. And then every time you see Dion where he's talking about his team and he's talking about his players, this isn't a all black locker room. This is a locker room of young men that have now got an opportunity to learn from Dion, now got an opportunity to grow close to Dion, now got an opportunity to get a relationship with Dion, his coaching staff and his support staff. He's built up a team that was 1-11 and and now has both Fox and ESPN there to bring his game on. They're not there for Colorado State. And the this is the thing that be killing me because they do this with LeBron. And I, I, I see Stephen A. get pissed off about this all the time where you start to criticize LeBron for his hoops and they say this, but he's a great man. You say, damn, LeBron, at the end of the game, bro, you got to dunk that. How are you going to say that? Do you see how he raised them kids? He taking a shot to motivate his squad, bro. You talking about 
Yeah, you got it. in the locker room. He did this and he took him. You want Coach Norvell to go to his locker room, to his team, to his people and say, well, you know, Coach Prime, he took the Colorado team. They were 1-11 last year, and now they are 2-0, and and we just want to lay down because what he's doing – it's changing the landscape of that program, and he got kids of all different backgrounds in there, and I just want to help him out as much as I can. That would be a foolish thing to do. That would be a silly thing to do as a head coach. My man here say as a leader of men, you don't want him saying, bro, I would not want you to. We going into war versus a team who got – nuclear bombs they showing up to the game with louis luggage don't come over here and 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 slurp slurp on them talk trash get find something at least we could do is we we respectful over here we might not win on the football field but we're gonna win the respect game at least give me that coach they might be faster than us, smarter than us. They might jump higher than us, but we take our glasses off. That's all I'm saying. To me, when I look at all of this, I see the trap. I see the trap Coach Jay Norvell from Colorado State is trying to lay. It's interesting. Do I think it's going to work? No way. I think Shador Sanders has proven himself to be a guy who can think through the game, right? Obviously, in that last game, you could tell from the beginning of it, the watch situation on the Buffalo tempers and passion was at an all-time high for that game. But what made it even more interesting is through adversity, they came out on top and began to dominate. And through that, they held on to the mantra, it's personal. They didn't throw it away. They didn't change the game plan. Maybe it ain't so personal. Like, let's just figure out how to win. Nah, nah, it was personal from the beginning to the end. And I love that. I'm with that. I feel that. I think that Colorado is going to come out this weekend. It's going to be personal. But I hope, I hope they don't fall into the trap. It's your main man, A.B. the Hero. We finna get up out of here. Peace. A.B. the Hero. No, not peace. Plus one, triple B's. We out.